Hello, good morning, children. Hey, how how you been? You've been doing good. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm happy. Anyway, so yes. Last day we have discussed about our interesting story that uh, I want something in a cage. Okay, that a stranger. Okay, uh, who came from a uh, where? Prison. Okay, uh, after ten years of in imprisonment. Okay, he released. He got released. Then he came there. Okay, he came to know the value of freedom. Okay, so he came to a pet shop and there he bought. Uh, he saw our uh, shop owner, Mr. Parcel. From uh, him, he bought a uh, couple of doves. Okay, couple of doves. And whenever uh, okay, uh, and he spent whatever he got. from there okay that prison okay he got only 5 dollars uh, with that okay he bought this uh, doves and a couple of doves and he whenever he uh, came outside he freed them okay liberated them okay so that's the story okay so uh, you know how many okay you know that value of uh, freedom okay so uh, don't make them be in a cage or uh, some lashes okay let them be free in your compound only don't let them go out okay uh, teach them like that okay be in your uh, compound okay so they will be there only okay and uh, mm, like that okay so as like uh, they are also human li- living things okay not a human being okay they are also living things okay mm? like us okay they also have feelings they also have family mm? uh, some uh, sometimes uh, they this uh, petro petro bonus they might have caught them uh, some um, uh, forest or somewhere for their benefit benefits for their business okay so they also might have some family and all the things okay and from there they might have came here and they got uh, this okay tamed to uh, like a tamed like a pet animals okay so uh, just let them be free okay if they want okay otherwise you, uh, they will be there with you always okay so that kind of birds you can buy birds or animals uh, you can buy okay and uh, other okay don't buy anything which is uh, which should be in cage okay yes so let's move to our exercise part okay yes first one uh, comprehension check write true or false against each of the following statements okay mr parcel sold birds cats dogs and monkeys okay so is it right or wrong true okay next he was very concerned about well being of birds and animals in his shop true or false Uh, let's check we will check the answer the next uh, he was impressed by the customer who bought the two doves wrong or right right uh, wrong yes the next uh, uh, yes he was a successful shop owner though insensitive and cold as a person right or wrong don't know no problem we will check the answer the next uh, why is mr parcel compared to an owl okay that other compared mr parcel to an owl why in paragraph it has said okay then next time from the third paragraph pick out words associated with the cries of birds words associated with the noise words suggestive of confusion and fear okay so look at this these are the answers of the true or false okay then write true or false against each of the following statements mr parcel sold birds cats dogs and monkeys not doves okay dogs uh, spelling mistake okay? okay true then he was very concerned about the well being of birds and animals uh, in his shop false okay he was not uh, concerned about uh, the well being of the birds and animals in his shop next uh, he was impressed by the customer who bought the two bird doves false then he was a successful shop owner though insensitive and cold as a person true okay he was a successful shop owner but he was he didn't have any sense okay uh, for uh, this uh, minding this uh, birds and animals okay yes insensitive next the second one parcel appeared like an owl when he looked through the through his glass okay you know that how the owl okay when uh, they look through the like uh, like that their eyes are okay so uh, our parcel he also looked like an owl when he looked through the glasses next uh, words for that uh, what um, sounds of that okay so which uh, whispered twitter squeal cheep next uh, sound noise uh, flicker scamper next uh, uh, another one suggestive of what confusion and all bewildered and blindly seeking next fourth one mr parcel here uh it no more
uh, it's no more uh, than he would have heard the monotonous ticking of a familiar clock read paragraph beginning with uh, it has it was a rough day okay so in that paragraph you can find okay then now what does it refer with this refer okay it uh, what uh it okay um, parcel head it no more okay it no more that it uh, what is uh, what does it refer the next time uh, why does mr parcel not hear uh, it clearly answer it refers to the chirping squealing and moving of birds all around him next uh, he ha he was he has become so used to those noises that he does not mind them okay so yes because uh, he, uh, he was uh, running the shop, uh, shop uh, for a long time okay so he used to with it okay so he knew that okay what kind of sound and why they make the sound L let me ask you that okay suppose that uh, you uh, in your childhood you might have cried a lot okay so uh, at that time your mother uh, she uh, knew that why you are crying okay why what's the need okay whether you are suffering from any disease or like that now also uh, whenever you uh, suffer from uh, suffering from any disease or like that when you cry they will come and they will take care of you otherwise when you can simply cry ah let him cry or let her cry their attitude is like that okay because they are used with it okay from your okay they have given you that mothers they have given you birth and they knew your crying okay the variation of your crying okay tone of your crying for each situation okay so like that they can they will care about that okay next step <coughs> Comprehension check. Do you think the atmosphere of Mr. Parcel shop was cheerful or depressing? Give reason for your answer. Okay. Uh, that uh, atmosphere, okay, that in shopkeeper uh, was cheerful or depressing. Whether it is uh, happiness or uh, depressing. Depressing means not happy. Hmm? Unhappy. Next. Describe the stranger who came to the pet shop. What did he want? Next step. The man insisted. Insisted means continually uh, wanted, okay, or demanded, okay. Uh, insisted on buying the doves because he was fond of the birds. Fond of birds. Do you agree? Okay, next step. How had he earned the five dollars he had? Next step. Why was the why the was the customer interested in the care of and feeding of the doves he had bought? If not, why not? So we will discuss the answers of that, then we will come to this exercise part, okay. First one, the atmosphere in Mr. Parcel's shop was dull and cheerless, okay. Uh, means it was not happy and all the things, okay, always the sound and all the things, okay. So it was not dull and we know that why the, most of the birds and animals, they cry, okay, because of their, because for their freedom. So it was not happy, uh, it was not a happy thing, okay. Then the shop was full of movements of noising birds and pet animals, okay, that's the other reason. And then. Uh, main reason it says here uh, this one okay the shop was full of movements and noising then mr parcel had become used to that noise okay then but the customer wondered how the owner put up with that noise okay but the owner okay whenever we go there okay we listen that uh, lots of noise and we also wonder that who oh, how they live in the, the noise and all the thing uh, situation okay not only the whenever we go to that uh, shop okay uh, the people okay uh, we sometimes we wonder that uh, the people those who live uh, near to the railway track always the sound of uh, train and uh, they cannot sleep without that noise that uh, those uh, gate man and all things they used with that okay they cannot sleep without that noise but when we uh, came uh, come to know that we uh, wonder that oh, how do they live in that noise okay always that sound okay it's really quite arrogant thing okay Arrogous, uh, aggressive or uh, not arrogant sound okay sometimes then next uh, second one the stranger who came to mr puzzle shop had been released from jail after 10 years of imprisonment okay so he was in a jail in prison for 10 years from the, then he got released from that okay so he came to know i, t I told you all again uh, already that he uh, go, uh, he came to know the freedom okay value of freedom so he came here okay his suit though new looking was cheap and ill fitting okay his suit okay by looking it was new but it was not it was cheap and ill fitting it was not fit for him okay and, uh, maybe uh, might have it uh, it might have loose or it might have tight for him anyway he had close cropped hair means close cut okay uh, that uh, long uh, short hair okay then his eyes moved all around in the show okay his eye already said that okay he ran his eyes okay then next time he wanted to purchase something in a cage he wanted to purchase something in a case. 
there are lots of things okay some birds and animals we can uh, see that they are free okay some birds whenever you go the, they are like a parrot and all the things that kind of birds will be free and they will uh, they will not be there in a cage okay they will be sitting on uh, some uh, roof or some shelf or somewhere okay by uh, simply okay that kind of animals birds are there okay then puppies will be there with a the shopkeeper uh, but he wanted this uh, stranger he wanted the uh, things which were in a cage okay which uh, were in a cage okay then next time third one no the man was neither fond of birds nor did he insist on buying the fair dogs okay he was not uh, fond of birds but then also he didn't uh, okay he didn't want to uh, okay he didn't uh, okay uh, yeah did he okay ah, he wanted he continuously demanded for the birds okay which are uh, in a cage okay fair dogs okay he only wanted some birds in a cage okay yes so that's uh, next step uh, the man had spent 10 years in prison okay the man had spent 10 years in prison okay he was uh, there uh, in a prison for 10 years okay just imagine that 10 years in a prison okay hmm? We don't know what's the reason. Anyway, that author, he is not saying what's the reason. Anyway, but uh, he was there in 10 years. Then he had to work hard. Who? That um, uh, stranger. He had to work hard. Where? In a prison. Then he uh, was paid only half a dollar per year. Okay. Half a dollar per year. Okay. Means uh, by, okay. Uh, year half dollar means uh, um, for two years it will come one dollar. Okay. Then by 10 year five dollars okay then he left the jail uh, with uh, just five dollars and fifty cents means extra uh, sometimes uh, they give some uh, okay if that uh, prisoners okay that are not prisoners that uh, jailers jailers okay so uh, suppose that if the prisoner is uh, kind or uh, good uh, they change their mind sometimes they uh, okay they, if that uh, jailer they are uh, like uh, they like this uh, prisoner they give them extra uh, like okay bonus or something like that they give so like that uh, we can imagine okay he got anyway five dollars and fifty cents and a cheap suit okay he got a cheap suit also next time uh, fourth one no the man had no love or liking for the birds okay he didn't have any liking or uh, love for the birds he did not mean to keep them as a pet okay why did he buy to keep them as a pet no he just wanted to free them okay so he didn't mean uh, mean to uh, make the make them uh, as uh, pets okay and then so he paid no attention to what Mr. Uh, Parcel said about the feed and care of birds. Okay, whenever you go to a pet shop also, they will say, okay, uh, these kind of foods you can give to the fishes, okay, if you want to buy bear fish or if you want to buy uh, puppies, they say that, okay, uh, pedigrees are available. They are the, the, those are the best food for uh, puppies or uh, dogs, okay. Uh, yeah, nowadays, we can see the advertisement also hmm, uh, for the pedigree, okay. They also have their favorite food like that, okay. So, uh, yes. So, yes, so, so he gave uh, information about this uh, feed, okay, how to feed and uh, how to care, okay, we have to, okay, they, uh, they say that uh, you have to take care of, uh, okay, you have to take your uh, bath every time, okay, like that, okay, the, you uh, don't give them in a hot, okay, make them in AC, like that, yeah, some uh, dogs are there, they have to be in AC, otherwise the, there will be some disease and uh, something will get affected uh, to the uh, puppies and all the things, okay, yes, even my uh, friend, uh, it was two or three years ago he bought a labrador okay labrador uh, and it was like a fair uh, kind of fair it was there okay at that time uh, they came with this uh, puppies and all the things okay labrador uh, lab lab we can uh, say in a short okay and he bought it and uh, later when i went there he said that uh, there was uh, like you know that skin okay it was falling down okay why because no uh, not giving care okay matter he used uh, some uh, shampoo okay that shampoo we use he used that shampoo to make it bath okay but actually uh, that uh, whenever he asked uh, to that uh, owner, shop owner uh, they said that uh, special shampoos are available for this puppies and uh, dogs okay so they that they we have to use otherwise it will affect their body see we have to uh, 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 let me tell you frankly that I am not fond of the buying uh, okay this costly dog and keeping uh, them giving feeding them only okay at the same time if we uh, take uh, if we take uh, the puppy of a stray dog okay that's enough 
take uh, it's, uh, it's quite dangerous to go and take the puppy of a stray dog okay they may attack you but uh, we uh, whatever uh, kept uh, puppies or uh, whatever dogs we kept we got it like that only okay so uh, we kept them okay and they were so um, uh, what uh, loyal okay so even uh, we have some uh, a land okay so uh, let's imagine that uh, half acre okay uh, half acre okay mm -hmm. uh, and uh, even at the border okay at the corner of the, the our land even a uh, single leaf okay dried leaf uh, mood okay make uh, some uh, creaking okay uh, that sound okay uh, this uh, dog come uh, came to know that uh, that sound okay and uh, that much keen it was okay uh, keen it was okay see uh, okay and uh, my okay uh, let me tell you one more thing okay my pup, uh, cousin she ha she was uh, fond of uh, uh, this dog uh, two years ago okay and she was carrying okay keeping a pug uh, then dash uh, that kind of and uh, let me tell you okay she was keeping that uh, pug uh, on her bed in her uh, vehicle whenever so we didn't like to go uh, travel with her why because whenever we enter inside okay it was a disgusting smell of this dog and all things even as he was there okay it was so the, and even i got breathing problem breathing problem whenever i entered inside okay and she was not taking care of uh, properly and uh, you know one thing this pug <laughs> that's a funny thing uh, i want i wanted to uh, i came to tell you it was not like our uh, normal dog okay so yeah it was a uh, christmas time okay carol uh, it was uh, going on there okay it was not uh, near uh, near to their house okay it was quite uh, 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 200 or uh, 100, uh, 200, uh, 250 meters away that uh, Car Carol was going and uh, there they uh, burned, uh, burst this cracker. At that time this dog uh, scared and it <laughs> entered inside. That much only the dog, okay. Simply wasting the money, simply wasting the money and food, okay. Why? We have to take, uh, okay, and it will be a good thing, okay. We are uh, keeping that uh, straight, okay, okay, uh, because uh, we don't care about that, okay, straight dogs, how they live and all the things. They are also living things, okay. So, we, when we take them and when we feed them, that is a good thing, okay. That's a good thing which we can do to them, okay. So, like that we do. I, now also I am uh, fond of. And uh, another thing that, uh, yes, uh, when I tell, uh, told you about this, okay, she was keeping, okay, I don't like to keep them uh, on our bed or on the table where we uh, have our food, okay. Because we know that uh, even cat also, whenever uh, they enter, uh, okay, on the table, I just kick them out. Because I don't like that. Because uh, we know that, to be frank, I, uh, why the reason uh, this uh, hair of this, uh, cat is quite dangerous when it, in the, at, in, when it enter inside of our body it's dangerous so mm, i don't like that even it can make a breathing problem also I, I told you whenever i entered inside the car i got the breathing problem so we have to keep them don't keep them in a cage or don't keep them in a lash just make them free in our compound only okay then tease them don't go outside of the compound it will be there okay and uh, they, they, there should be a limitation to feed them and to, uh, keep them. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. So, yes. And one more uh, thing I will tell you. Okay. I don't know why, the, what's the reason. But uh, one year ago, someone stole her whole puppies and all the things. Okay. Now, then she was uh, crying. Okay. She lost her puppies and all the things. Who stole? I don't know. Anyway, someone stole it. Uh, stolen. Uh, so I think uh, now she uh, doesn't have any uh, this uh, fond of this uh, dogs and all the things. Okay, uh, yes. No. So that's uh, an interesting story you uh, got know about uh, this about uh, okay along with this story. Okay, yes. This an experience. Okay, uh, from my life. Okay, that's what I said. You okay? Mm, then okay. So yeah. So he didn't okay, well, we were we didn't finish yet. Okay, so soon after stepping out of the shop, okay, soon after stepping uh, stepping means uh, he came whenever he came at the moment whenever he came out from the shop, okay, he freed the birds and dropped the cage. Okay, he freed means uh, he opened uh, already said in uh, that uh, story that uh, he opened the cage. Okay, uh, then uh, he uh, took one uh, dove and uh, may, may, made it uh, fly. Then uh, again another one also he. Uh, freed them and he threw the cage on the uh, road or uh, where on the ground and he went away. That's the story. How it ends. Okay. 
and uh, not only really that much uh, even that uh, mm, yes personal uh, he felt like uh, he got insulted uh, okay. so that's the story yes uh, now let's discuss okay this is a uh, homework for you okay discussion what first one why in your opinion did the man set the doubts free why so that's a homework for you you can do it by tomorrow the next one why did it make mr parcel feel vaguely insulted vaguely means uh, not clearly expressed or somewhat somewhat insulted okay so uh, that's a uh, an assignment for you okay so you can write it as an assignment the first one is a homework for you okay yes so by this we finishing uh, this topic today so thanks a lot bye bye have a have a pleasant day okay okay enjoy your day